Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV where you watch and learn. I am your tutor Alex Musawa and I'll be taking you through chemistry form 3 lesson number 30. Our topic is physical and chemical properties of sulfur. The objectives of this lesson are to know the physical properties of sulfur, number two, to know the chemical properties of sulfur, and number three, to list the uses of sulfur. Sulfur is a yellow non metallic element. A molecule of sulfur consists of rings of eight atoms of sulfur joined together. That's why sulfur is written as S8. When, when the yellow powder is gently heated, it melts at about 113 degrees Celsius to a clear amber liquid. The melting point of sulfur is 113 degrees Celsius and it's a non-metal. Its boiling point is 444.6 degrees Celsius. Its color is yellow. It's yellow colored and it's in form of like, uh, crystals, powder or in form of a or informed shape. It is odorless or a f it has a faint odor of rotten eggs if it is not 100% pure. Sulfur is soluble in organic solvents. Sulfur is soluble in organic solvents such as benzene, methyl benzene and carbon and carbon disulfide. Why? Because they exist in molecular states and as we know sulfur exists in molecular states next we're going to look at the chemical properties of sulfur and what are the chemical properties of sulfur sulfur burns in oxygen with a bright blue flame forming misty fumes with a choking smell the gas that chokes is sulfur for oxide sulfur for oxide has traces of sulfur trioxide. The gas turns blue litmus paper red, indicating that the oxides of sulfur are acidic. Sulfur for oxide is acidic. Sulfur combines directly with some elements to form sulfide. When reacted with metal sulfide, it forms black solid. Let's say you take a uh, for example, you take a mixture of sulfur and you mix it with iron powder and you heat it, it will, be, it will form an exothermic reaction. As we know, an exothermic reaction is a reaction whereby heat is evolved. Once the reaction is started, the whole mass of sulfur and iron will glow because it, sulfur, the reaction between sulfur and iron is exothermic. Let's say we react copper and sulfur, we will get a black substance which is copper sulfide. So sulfur reacts with metals to form sub metal sulfides. And let's say you react carbon and sulfur, you're going to get carbon disulfide. Carbon disulfide is very poisonous and so you should be cautious when you prepare it in a laboratory. Hydrogen combines with sulfur to form hydrogen dye, hydrogen sulfide. Hydrogen sulfide smells like rotten eggs. That's why we prepare that gas in a fume chamber. And on oxidation, sulfur is easily oxidized by both concentrated nitric acid and sulfuric acid. When warmed with concentrated nitric acid, sulfur is oxidized to sulfur 6 acid. The nitric acid is reduced to red brown nitrogen 4 oxide and water. What are some of the uses of sulfur? Sulfur is used to manufacture sulfur 6 acid. It is used to manufacture sulfur 6 acid or sulfuric acid. Number two, it is used as a fungicide to kill fungi. Number three, in the, it is used to manufacture bleaching agents used to bleach wood pulp in paper industry. Most paper industries like Kasuku, uh, they use uh, sulfur in order to bleach pulp in their industries. We also have vulcanization of, or hardening of rubber. This is by rubber is hardened by mixing it with sulfur. It is used, also used in the manufacture of dyes in small quantities and in making of fireworks. 
x to half as you can see that is sulfur sulfur is an unmetal which is yellow and it has an atomic number of 16 yes and it has a melting point of 115 boiling point of 104 degrees yeah that is sulfur as you can see that is sulfur compound and that is the end of our lesson activity what is the color of sulfur number two list five chemical properties of sulfur our references klb book 3 fifth edition 2019 for more information contact us on our phone number youtube elimu tv facebook elimu tv twitter at elimu tv underscore ke thank you for watching elimu tv stay tuned